the three biggest problems people have with 7-zip is which version to download and install, why do the icons not change and why can I not assign new formats, and why are there no icons in the context menus. I'll be addressing all of these. A bunch of packaged files. Windows can open one of them. So let's get 7-zip so we can extract them all. Go to 7-zip.org and look at all these download links. Check the headers. Currently this one says 19.00 for Windows and this one says 21.00 alpha. Alpha means not stable, so avoid alpha and beta. Just go with whatever is stable or doesn't say alpha or beta. And we can get 64-bit version or 32-bit version. Right-click start and press system. And here you can see 64-bit operating system. If yours says 32-bit operating system, get the 32-bit version of 7-zip. If it says 64-bit, get the 64-bit. So I am downloading the 64-bit version. Click. Okay, this is way too slow. Way too slow. If it's super slow, just cancel it and restart. Click. And it's done immediately because it's less than 2 megabytes. Go to the location of this file, for example by show in folder, and here it is. This file you just need to double click, confirm so it can install, and press install. And it's done. Press close. So far no change. This still opens with Windows. 7-zip file opens with 7-zip. RAR file opens with 7-zip. I guess it takes a while until the icons are updated. What we can do is right click the start button and go to task manager, press more details, and in details, type explorer and then right click end task, confirm, and then go to file, run new task, explorer. Ah, yes, now it's updated. Now the icons are updated in this folder. 7zip opens, rar opens, zip files still open with Windows. You can change that if you want. You can also right click files, and there is a 7zip context menu. With various options. Let's for example make zip open with 7-zip. Just start 7-zip from a start menu by typing in 7-zip. 7-zip file manager. If it doesn't appear it's also in the install folder. 7-zip file manager. You can double click it. And now you can go to tools, options, and let's for example assign 7-zip to zip files by double clicking it here. Yeah, you can toggle between different modes. Let's stop at 7-zip. Let's hit apply. It doesn't work. What you have to do instead is right click 7-zip FM and run as administrator. One big annoyance about 7-zip. Go to tools, options, double click 7-zip over here. Apply, OK, close, close, here it is. You can also right click this here in the start menu and run as administrator. In tools options, in the 7-zip tab, we could also remove the shell context menu. We can disable cascaded, which I personally hate because all the options appear here. So I'm gonna have a cascaded one. You can enable icons in the context menu, so then it will have icons if you like this kind of stuff. And you can control which kind of options are available. For example, I don't need add to archive, I don't need test, I don't even need add to 7-zip and zip. Apply. And now this menu is much, much shorter. 7-zip can extract zip files, it can extract 7-zip files, and it can extract RAR files, and many more. For example, it can extract its own installer, extract to subfolder. See? That's all the files. Let's see if we can extract WinRAR's installer. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Well, <laughs> it kind of worked, didn't it? But there are exe files that it cannot extract. This is just nonsense. 7-zip is free and open source. I kinda trust it more than WinRAR. Have fun with 7-zip, and I will see you next time. Ciao!